It must have startled the numbers. Heck, it startled me. The 2018 BMW X3 M4 Ti is a far louder automobile than you'd expect, with the twittering buzz of an deplete note that slides through the otherwise placid Portlandian morning. I sheepishly seemed around for someone in an outback sneer at the phytonic blue BMW brashly announcing its existence. Here's the thing. Though, it's still weird to hear sports car interferences emanating from a compact SUV. It just doesn't calculate that the M40 and its 355 horsepower twin turbo inline minus 6 get from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.6 seconds actually fries the circuit card. SUVs are clearly the root of the future, but so much better about the X3 M40 I seems conflicted like it's trying to be something it's not. At no phase with the X3 did I find myself not longing to drive a 340im sport instead, preferably a wagon one, not that such a thing prevails. Now, before running outside to yell at that cloud, let's just step back and acknowledge that the X3 M4 Ti is nevertheless an impressive compact luxury SUV. It can stand tall against the Porsche Macan and Mercedes AMG GLC 43 on the sporting front, while boasting the room, character and tactics to attract those who'd rather not niggle the numbers. As this is the M40i in question, versus the 248 HP 4 cylinder X Drive 30i. Let's tackle the sporting chip. Unlike the new 5 sequence, this X3 genuinely feels like a BMW, owning that quintessential vivacity, poisoned overall perceive we've all come to expect. You don't need that round low on the steering wheel to know what you're driving. The electric assisted rack it's attached to remains a letdown as it's disappointingly devoid of perceive, but at least the throttle eagerly responds to your beck and see. That's the case even when puttering around municipality in comfort mode and sport. The answer to this question is borderline intoxicating. Here comes the conflicted chip, though. As tout and poised as the M40 I might be on a twisting back road, it comes with the amazingly firm go that could easily get wearisome if you expand most of your time tooling around the city with an adequately patched pavement. Yes, even with the adaptive damps and comfort mode, perhaps it's rose tinted glass. But I don't recall the 3 Series M Sport having a during go. Now, on smoother highways, the go issues subside and the Autobahn Bread X3 settled in quite nicely to road journey tariff during a day trip from Portland to Astoria on the Oregon coast. The benches wrap you in a firm hug and, as ever, provide hours of ceaseless convenience. The manual thigh extension and other BMW staple is likewise appreciated as is the far reach of the telescoping steering wheel. Everything inside is precisely as it should be, including the revised iDrive controller that operates the most recent BMW interface introduced in the 7 series. The add-on of redundant touch functionality actually makes a difference for certain functions, especially Apple CarPlay. There's also gesture control. But I didn't use it. It's a silly parlor maneuver. In words of room, it's not exactly a CRV in the back but the firm seats are at a nice, comfy height off the floor. Cargo space is also quite generous with a comparatively upright and squared roof line. There's 28.7 cubic paws with the seats up and 62.7 with them elevated which is perfectly median for the segment as we detected when comparing the Infiniti QX50 to its competitors. Small-scale piece storage up front has also been improved, includes the add-on of a wireless smartphone charging pad, so family-friendly it could be. It can also be sufficiently sporty and even amazingly efficient as I manage 24.3 miles per gallon in combined driving besting the EPA, and although I'm not too keen on the exterior's bulbous, snout-like look, I appreciate that BMW has maintained its no-fuss interior aesthetic. There's less of a picture on display than in a Mercedes GLC or Volvo XC60, but a better quality express for itself. As a compact luxury crossover, then, the 2018 BMW X3 is fully competitive, and with the M40i, you get a 355 HP inline minus 6 that's absolutely divine. I wouldn't begrudge someone choosing the F40i based on the engine alone, 
it's the one I'd want and the rest of the performance parcel emphatically stirs this small SUV handle far better, go far quicker and be far louder than the norm. It actually doesn't matter that the automobile could do all these things better if people looking for luxury and execution don't want the automobile. Crossovers are hot, and this one's hotter than average.